keep trucking in the rain. It's gonna rain all day, so embrace the suck, I guess. This is a huge one. Game changer. The traditions of the outdoor sportsman are more important than ever, and it's up to us to pass them on to others. Two families, one passion to inspire the next generation of ethical hunters and conservationists, continuing the legacy of hunting and fishing in the outdoors. area. Um, it's raining. I'm hot. So wet from the inside, wet from the outside. So, uh, anyway, Joey's up first. Hopefully we'll run into a good Grados here shortly. Um, I actually stopped at the rock where Julie shot from last time we were here on her Grados. So um, let's keep trucking in the rain. It's going to rain all day, so embrace the suck, I guess. Guess who forgot her rain jacket? This guy. <laughs> so. But uh, she's very strong. <laughs> she's very tough. <laughs> she's you are. You tough. are. <laughs> so we're plugging away. And you know what? Still got a smile on my face because I'm super excited for Joey to see the Gratos and um, hopefully he gets a, a good one. <laughs> and then it'll make all this totally worth it. So, and I love being back here. It's my favorite area of Spain. So. probably I'd say two two and a half miles in here you know just kind of slowly getting an altitude and now you can see it's changing from rain to rain and mixed snow but the mountains are all starting to get snow covered so we're uh, we're headed to the top well he said that the ibex is on the other side of the creek from us um, just up there not too far. I don't know where he's at. We can't find him. I think he's bedded down with the weather, but it should be close. So.
found my Ibex. So he's over there across the creek. It's a pretty good sized one. Just wait and see the plan. Following the gamekeeper here. It's rainy. It's windy. It's cold. But we're doing it. Here in Grados, in the National Reserve here, uh, beautiful animal. I cannot be any any more excited. You know, so stoked to be able to do this. Come over here and have the opportunity to hunt with these amazing animals. You know, it's a uh, it's a once in a lifetime experience, and you know I can't believe that I'm lucky enough to be able to do it. You did it. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> That's pretty good. Finally got to this Ibex and he is awesome. He has so much character to him and notches everywhere and they say that he's about 14 which is great because you always like to get a mature animal and um, it is still raining it has been non-stop all day raining sleet snow um, we have have had a day <laughs> but it has been all worth it this guy is awesome and i am really happy with him and um, just really excited and happy to, to get my great outside of Gredos Ibex and um, we'll get it today. Rained on us all day yesterday. It was, uh, anyway, it was one of those days. It was a very, very, very long day. 
had an opportunity last night. Uh, it was getting dark. Had about 20 minutes of light left. Uh, just couldn't get it done yesterday, so we got uh, half a day today before we got to head back to Madrid. So we go see what we can get done. Hopefully, it works out for us. Right to him in the middle. Yes. Yeah. Good. I call you. Relax, relax. Mike. Well done, my friend. Oh, yo, yo, Nacho. So last night we found an Ibex. Uh, late. Uh, my son Joey, my wife Julie killed a couple great. Great Os Ibex yesterday. Uh, it rained super, super hard all day yesterday. It was like 7.30 last night. There was maybe 20 minutes of light that you could see left. Uh, we found an Ibex, the gamekeepers did. Uh, made a stock on him. I couldn't see very well. Felt like I had a good rest. Felt like I was on the front shoulder. Um, missed. I think I held a little high, didn't realize that I was because it's only like 100 meters, so I don't know, 120 yards, and it just uh, shot right over his back. So my, my fault, um, it happens. I don't like it when it happens to me because I, I take pride in my shooting and the practice that I do, but it happens, and I, I, I had a clean miss. So, so walked up this trail, raining again, <laughs> and uh, we got within uh, 119 meters, is what they said, and uh, laid the smack down on him this morning. So we got the great Os Ibex with like two hours to spare and um, got to head back to Madrid today. So got it done, do a little, little redemption for myself today. So.